Okay, so Seaberg. I really want to dive into this movie with you guys because something that's very important and something I want to just get off right off the bat is Kristen Stewart. I have always enjoyed Kristen Stewart from the beginning. I understand she has a reputation that a lot of people don't really care for. They don't like her, they don't think she's a good actress. I really like will always stand by her and hopefully change a lot of people's minds about her because there is a lot of great work that she puts out that people miss and I feel like Twilight is the only movie that people associate her with now and think of that franchise and they only see that version of her craft and that's that's the only thing they go off and that's why they don't like her. And that's not to say that she was terrible in the Twilight movies. I think the first Twilight movie was pretty rough. But I think as the movies continued, and even though they're still very cheesy, I think she got better, and I think the whole cast started to grow with their characters. But anyway, that all aside, Twilight was just one example, and that's obviously the biggest thing that had her name in the highlights. In the highlights. In the lights. So if you can push Twilight aside, maybe explore some of her earlier work before Twilight, through Twilight, and even after Twilight, I think you would see that she does a pretty damn good job. And Seaberg is probably her best role to date, hands down. I definitely think Seaberg was a perfect opportunity for her to explore so many different avenues, and it shows. She emotes beautifully, she acts beautifully, she looks beautiful. Everything about this performance I thought was terrific, and I really wish that, because um, I don't know if this movie technically released last year, or if it's technically be considered releasing a 2020 release, but if it is considered a release this year, I hope that come award season, and again, I'm not saying that these actors are supposed to do these movies for awards, but they need to look at Kristen Stewart for this work. She did a damn good job in this movie. Um, this was a, a woman I had, didn't really know anything about, Jean Seberg. In a case anyone who's watching knows anything about Jean Seberg or doesn't know, just a quick little update for you. She was a woman who acted in the 60s, was very beloved, especially in France. Um, but she, the biggest uh, part of her life was the big news story surrounding her involvement um, as a civil rights activist. And this is what that movie focuses on, that time when she starts supporting you know, all those organizations and the government basically is trying to attack her and take her down because they don't like that she's supporting um, the Panthers and all these groups just for peace, like equality. Something that was totally, you know, it should never have been frowned upon, but you know, people did. And despite the hiccups in her own personal life, like her marriage, you know, the affairs that she was having, you know, that was one thing, but it was an even bigger thing for all that to be happening, being in the acting world, but then her just trying to be a good supporter of everyone and be equal to everybody, and just how the paranoia got to her and how her life kind of changed in a minute. Like, her house was wired, everything was bugged. She could never be, you know, clear-minded again after this, and it was heartbreaking to witness that, and this movie explores all of that. I don't think this is a near-perfect movie or anything, but what saves this movie and what I think is worthy of you watching it is Kristen Stewart. I think the acting by the supporting players are great. It's fine, but she's gonna be the standout. She is the lead of this movie, and I think a lot of people's hesitation to see it would be that she is the face of this, but understand that Kristen Stewart has a lot of qualities to her that make her a wonderful actress, and this movie is a wonderful exception. I really hope you check this movie out again, most notably for her work. It is just a stunning portrayal. I thought she did it wonderfully. And there's this like moment at the end, kind of where the film is starting to wrap up. And you know when a movie wraps up and they kind of still give you an extra few facts, like with titles? While that's kind of displaying, you kind of just get a moment, even though you want to read those extra facts, the movie is still playing and it is just like a moment of Kristen Stewart acting like with a cigarette, looking over there, just like crying, thinking, having to wonder what's going to happen next for her. And just everything she's doing 
It's genius. I don't, I literally just was so, I could not take my eyes off the screen. I thought she did a terrific job. Again, I want people to really give Kristen Stewart a chance. You have to let any other idea that you had of her go and start looking at the other, you know, the other amazing work that she puts out. And just while I'm on this topic, a couple other movies I would love for you to uh, visit that she's been in that I think are worth reviewing include a film called Personal Shopper, Clouds of Sils Maria. <sighs> I'm blanking right now, but there's a lot of wonderful work that she's put out. I'll probably list more in the description, but understand that I think she has so much to offer. And if you just give her a chance, I think there's some really th fine, fun things that you're going to uh, discover. That's my review for Seaberg. Again, this is not a movie that you have to rush to go see necessarily, but if you do, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's a very interesting story. The movie as a whole is very important. It's a very uh, timely topic as well because I feel like even in today's society, we're still battling with acceptance and equality and just being on board with everybody. Um, and just to see what this woman went through, again, with her own personal life, with her marriage and being an actress, versus just the government attacking her for just trying to be a supporter. It's a it's a wild time, and this is a film worth watching, just when you can. Yeah, that's my review for Seaberg. Give Kristen Stewart a chance. She's great. Um, and yeah, if you like this review, please uh, refer it to a friend. Let them know, because I think this is something... This is one of those movies that... I would love to explore and talk about more. Even, at, like I said, it's not the best movie you're going to see, but I still think there's a lot to take away from this film. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you never miss one of these reviews. Thank you always for checking these out. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.